All right, hey y'all. Um, I just thought I would come to you uh, before the video and just kind of tell you what I'm gonna be doing here uh, in this video. This video is gonna be about a core essential belt. Um, this one that I got is the, the Coyote Tactical Belt. And um, so they contacted me, full disclosure, they contacted me and asked me if I would try out their belt and give a review. Um, I normally turn these kind of things down if they're not if they're not even remotely I get a lot of this stuff and and uh, a lot of it's not even close to what we do on the channel um, has nothing to do with shooting it's like it'll be video games or just stuff that I have nothing to do with so I turn all those down but so Core Essentials contacted me and they said hey um can we send you a belt and a buckle and stuff and let you uh, do an honest review on it um, and I said you know what I'll do that I've been looking I've been kind of needing a new uh, concealed carry belt anyway um, something that was sturdy and I had already looked at their products so I was familiar with at least what they offered um, so what I did was um, they told me to pick out a belt and a buckle and they would send it to me and I told them the only way I was gonna do this is if they didn't mind if I if I wore it for I didn't know how long it would take me to, um, to actually give them an honest review. I told them that it may be months. I may not do it at all. I don't know. But they sent me the belt. Um, they actually, you know, I picked out my belt. I picked out my buckle. And they actually sent me um, the belt and buckle within a few days. And I've been wearing it ever since. Um, I, I cut it to length just like they say per their instructions. It comes with an instruction video. Um, well, you scan it and it takes you to the video and super, super easy to do, super easy to cut it to size, attach the buckle and um, put it on every day for two weeks with and without guns, um, with and without holsters, inside the waistband holsters, outside the waistband holsters. And um, it's kind of shot out of order, but I did an unboxing. I did um, the actual video of me you know kind of showing the belt and, and holding it and all that stuff and showing you showing it to you with the holsters on and uh like right now i'm wearing it and i don't have a holster on so um yeah so please stay tuned watch the video and uh let me know what you think um if you've ever you know heard of core essentials if you've ever um used their products if you've do like them if you don't like them please uh drop it in the comments and let me know um either way and uh yeah so check them out i appreciate everybody and uh you know thanks for watching all right i'm gonna do a quick unboxing of um this here's from core essentials and uh let's see what we got here Packing slip, a instructional video, um, instructional uh, video card. Uh, looks like a keeper. Belt buckle that I went with. A belt hanger and I'm not sure what this is yet let's see optional item I have to check this out let's see it may say on here uh, protective sleeve okay not too bad and here is the belt this is gonna be a good gun belt I went with the coyote um tactical belt so uh yeah i'm gonna wear this for a little while put my concealed carry rig on it and see how i like it and uh so you can expect a, a review of this coming sometime in the near future okay just to just to show you here i went with the uh coyote tactical belt and uh if you'll look on the back they have the uh <clears throat> this little ratchet system here uh, for for buckling it. Um, seems like it's pretty neat. It's a good heavy duty, really thick belt. 
um, just from my initial um, thoughts on it. And we have a, here it's marked uh, size 40, 41, 43, 44, 45, 47, so on and so on, all the way up to 54. And uh, so you just cut it and put the, the, buck, the buckle on um, to whatever size you need. Um, I believe it goes from 28 to 54, kind of a one size fits most. And uh, so yeah, the, um, in the, uh, I went with the X5 buckle here, which is a pretty nice buckle. Um, and I'll have to, you know, I'll have to kind of figure all this out. So, um, but you can see where it catches, uh, where the ratchet catches on the, uh, on the track in the back there so i think this is going to be a good buckle um and belt combination and uh, i'm excited to try it out and um see how you know see how it goes so um i don't know how long it's going to take me to feel comfortable doing an actual review on the belt but i am going to wear it and uh you know i don't ha i have no question about how to hold up i mean you can definitely see it's super well made and, uh, so the durability don't really question me too much. Uh, it's not really a big question to me. The buckle, I wish you could feel this buckle. It's, it's very heavy duty. Um, it's just a really, really nice, nice feeling, heavy buckle. So I believe it's going to do well, but, uh, more on that to come. So, uh, yeah, if you're watching this, that means I've probably already, watched already wore uh i've probably already worn the, the belt for a number of days or a number of weeks uh or whatever just kind of get an idea of what i'm uh you know what i'm telling y'all um i don't want to just say hey oh this is good when it, when, I, when i don't know for sure if it is or not so i do uh anticipate it being pretty good i've read a lot of good reviews on them but I like to make my own mind up, so, um, yeah, so anyway, I will be bringing y'all this soon, so stay tuned, and uh, I'll give you my honest thoughts on the Coyote Tactical Belt, uh, Coyote Tactical Gun Belt from Core Essentials, and the X5 Buckle. You just use these set screws to hold your belt in. That way it'll never come undone. I cut it down to the proper size. Use the provided set screws here. And you just snug them until they get flush. You don't have to over tighten them or do anything crazy. You just want them flush. Lock the lock the bar in. Which is kind of tough. But I guess that's a good thing. Let's see, I might Okay, a little side note here. So I couldn't get this bar to lay down flat couldn't get it to lock all the way in that's because i had the set screws tightened down first you should definitely tighten down your bar first because that as, as those teeth grab it kind of pulls the belt a little bit kind of pulls it a little bit and the set screws are in it doesn't allow that give in the belt so put your lever to over first and then do your set screws um, that's just kind of a little side note that i just just learned so but yeah now uh now I'm going to wear the belt for a while until I feel comfortable enough giving a decent review about it and uh, go from there. So we'll see how she does. Also on a side note, this belt, I mean this uh, belt hanger holds a couple different belts, a few different belts. It also has a spot for your keeper and it also has a spot for the Allen wrench that 
that uh, you use for your, you know, tightening down your stuff. So, kind of a neat little thing um, that you can get on their website, coreessentials.com. And, uh, yeah, so check them out. All right, I thought I'd also show you this. This is the, uh, when I mentioned it earlier in the video, I wasn't quite sure what it was. But what it is, is it's a, it's a belt protector. And uh, so I got this piece of cutoff that I, that I use and I've got one of my uh, inner waistband holsters. <clears throat> and you, uh, you put this over because, uh, you know, this material can fray um, after, you know, a lot of use and everything. So this is just kind of a protector to protect your belt from. And you can see the gun is empty, but, uh, you can see how, you know, this would ride on the belt pretty nicely. So, and it protects your belt from any unnecessary wear or uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, um, my initial thoughts on this belt is this going to be pretty nice. Um, it is good and heavy duty. Uh, you can kind of see just by, you know, just by holding it up with one end. It's a good heavy duty belt. So I'm looking forward to actually wearing it and just getting some time with it on. So um, just a very, very nice heavy duty belt. So Core Essentials, I believe I'm gonna like this. So, alrighty, um, I'm gonna continue to wear it. I've got the belt on right now. It feels good. You can. You can lock it down as tight as you can get it. You can, you can, uh, you know, loosen it up if you've ate a big meal or you're just <laughs> feeling a little fat or whatever at, the, at that time. You can uh, loosen it up. If you want to put your concealed carry um, inner waistband, you can, you know, loosen it up to put it inside the waistband or you can put it on the waistband. All right, how y'all doing today? Um, I wanted to, I've been wearing this belt from Core Essentials now for about... A little over a week um it's their coyote tactical uh gun belt and it's a good sturdy heavy duty belt just kind of look at how thick it is you cut it to length and uh so it fits any you know a good amount of people but right now i've got a full size glock 22 on it just to show you it's empty, no magazine, but uh, it's a very comfortable belt, and uh, I wanted to wear it for a week or so before I, uh, you know, did any kind of review on it, just to kind of get an idea of if I if I really like the belt. I really, I really enjoy the belt. It's got this little ratchet system here on the uh, on the back. That locks it in place it's got a pretty good wide um array of adjustments on it so you can just you just click it in click it down and uh yeah so it's a good heavy duty belt the gun don't move um it's comfortable you can bend down do you know do whatever you want to do with the belt um, it doesn't pinch you. I've got a little bit of a gut here, so I ain't gonna, uh, it doesn't pinch your belly or anything like that. Um, so yeah, Core Essentials, um, you've really done a well job on your belt. And, uh, they also make leather, leather belts and some other stuff. And, uh, so yeah, um, but, uh. I will definitely be wearing this belt. I've been wearing it every day, even even when I don't carry a gun, um, even when I don't have my gun on me, I've still been uh, wearing the belt. Um, so it's a great, it's just a, it's just a comfortable belt, and you know I don't know what all to say about a belt, but uh, it's a pretty nice belt. Um, you can order you can order uh, protective sleeves that would go here. And case, you know that way you, know, you don't want to mess up your belt because uh, these um, canvas belts or or nylon belts they they can fray 
I guess. Um, so it's you can uh get a little protective sleeve to go, to go over that, and uh, if you so desire, um, they make hangers for the belts that'll hold several belts and, and some other stuff. So check them out. Uh, check out Core Essentials, and I will drop a, a link to their um, their webpage in the description. And uh, yeah, um, stay tuned. I will definitely show you. This is an outer waistband holster. I'm gonna uh, put on. I'm gonna put on my inner waistband holster, um, and and uh, let you see how that fits and everything. And and uh, stay tuned for some. Uh, and uh, yeah, so check them out. Core Essentials with a K. All right, now I am. I am back with my. Uh, core essential belt obviously except this time I have a Glock 43 which is unloaded no magazine and this time I've got an inside the waistband holster which this belt holds very nicely very secure can't tell I have it All right you know um I normally wear it right here it's just easier for me to you know go about my day but i can bend over with it um the belt is it holds it secure you know you can uh draw pretty easy and if you're a really skinny guy obviously concealed you know inside the waistband works much better the skinnier you are let's just admit it um when it's when it's cold and you can wear an overcoat like this i definitely like to I definitely like to have the uh the jacket so but yeah um i just wanted to do this quick quick uh video review i don't you know I, I normally do a lot more cowboy uh cowboy guns and stuff like that but you know my every day-to-day -day life i do like to carry my um pistol with me because you just never know what's going to happen these days so i like to have a pistol with me at all times um either on me or nearby so you know who don't need uh edc uh gear and stuff like that so um yeah so uh i appreciate you watching i'm not no uh excellent you know reviewer but i do enjoy good products and this is definitely a good product i could pull out and uh it's like this you can definitely tell or not tell that I have a uh, that I have a gun on me so yeah um, if you like this if you want to check out core essentials uh, belts and other other things I will leave a link in the description I hope you'll check them out um, great belts very heavy duty uh, you can get them to fit most any size. So I believe I believe these go from 27 to 54 and you there's a ruler on the back which you'll see in the uh, in the unboxing video. There's a ruler on the back. Um, you, you know, you add your length per the instructions whether you're going to do inner waistband or outer waistband um, to the belt and you uh, you cut the belt and then you attach the buckle to it whichever buckle. They've got a whole line of buckles too. So um, you can choose any kind of buckle you like. Uh, I chose this one. It's a pretty, pretty nice buckle. It sits kind of flush, and, and uh, you know that's what I wanted. So um, I've worn a leather belt for the last 15 years. I've worn pro 10, pro at least the last 10 years. I've worn the same uh, leather belt, and it's about had it. So I was definitely, um, even though I do leather work, I, I hardly ever do leather work for myself. So. Um, like I said, I've had the same belt for at least 15 years now, or 10 or 15 years, and um, you know, I didn't. Uh, I'm somebody that that don't like change a whole lot. So if I get something, unless it gives out on me or breaks, then I usually keep it um, till it can't go no more. So, uh, but this belt here made me retire my old uh, worn and stretched out leather belt, and um, anytime I want to conceal carry or um just carry a, a a pistol on my belt um i'm definitely going to go with this core essentials 
Uh, yeah. So it's just a it's just a very good, heavy duty, strong belt, and yeah. So um, check them out. See if you like them. You know, uh, they're not they're not bad price. They're you know pretty good price. They've got various prices uh, depending on what you want, and uh, man, they're just hard to go wrong with. So check them out, and I would not be saying that I like this if I didn't like it. This is not a paid um, review or anything. They wanted an honest review, and my honest review is this is a very heavy-duty belt. I'm very happy to have it, and I will be buying more from them in the future. Um, They've got several different colors in the uh, in the nylon belts, and they have some leather belts that look pretty nice too. And so, <clears throat> yeah, check them out, man, and, uh, and and see what you think. You know, I'll be happy to know if you've already used a core essential belt. You know, let me know in the comments and let me know how you like it. And if you haven't used a core essential belt and you do get one, let me know how you like it. I would uh. I'd, I'd really, I'd really like to know how you, what you know, what your true, honest feelings are, and I'm sure Core Essentials would too, because I can tell you, just by talking with the, uh, the guys over there, they really uh, wanted an honest review, non-biased. You know, this is not, I'm not having been paid to do anything like this. They sent me the belt. They wanted to. Uh, I told them I would do it, but I, I would, I'd want to wear it for a while. And give them an honest review and they said that's perfect that's exactly what they wanted um so they're a company that seems like they they care about what the consumer uh feels about their product and so yeah check them out man uh check them out and see what they what you think of them and i would definitely like to know and uh please like share subscribe um i appreciate each and every one of y'all the channel has grown a lot in the last few uh probably since i guess since uh november the channel's really just taken off and uh i've got a lot of things in the works coming up so make sure you subscribe hit those uh bell notifications i got some you know like i said i've still got the 1901 video coming up i had a had a little bit of a hiccup with with some of the stuff that i needed to get to to make the the, the 10 gauge shells but i've got all that uh figured out and taken care of now um i'm gonna be making up some shells tomorrow um, and so, yeah, just, uh, stay tuned, man. Y'all, I've got, I say, keep saying man, but you know, men, women, whatever. Um, y'all just stay tuned. I've got some nice, uh, stuff coming up in the works, I think. And so, yeah, appreciate every one of y'all. Like, share, subscribe, comment. See y'all next time. Thank you.